Welcome to Mystic Marie Tarot and Guidance. And damn, I'm tapped the fuck in. What's happening, collective? Let's see what does the universe have for us. Welcome. Thank you for your support in whichever way you choose to do that. My links are down below, and so is that Patreon somewhere here to the left or down below. Let's see what the universe have for us. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, messages for the collective. We got the king of cups. Somebody got something they feeling. What does the collective need to know at this time? Angels, spirit guides, ancestors of the highest vibration. Messages for the collective. We got the two of pentacles. A choice. Could be juggling. Hmm. Duality between you and another. A job. Paycheck to paycheck. Moving. Travel. Could be trying to adapt to changes. Be flexible. Capricorn energy with the two of pentacles. Interesting. What else? I will clarify with a tarot card for the collective. We got the, uh, I almost said the Hierophant. Ooh. We got the Chariot. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. And uh, this is Cancer energy. There is a delay here. Okay. Something was supposed to be victorious, but something got in the way. Someone could have car trouble, could be traveling troubles, could be some delays in travel. I did say that there's a boat in the sea there. There could be something that you're getting ready to start, something you could have started. Things aren't panning out. It's not over with. There's just some obstacles. Someone could be trying to come towards you. There could be something or someone in their way. All right, someone could have a lack of direction. They don't know what they want. Let's see for the collector. What's the T? We, okay, we got the two of cups. Two and two and an issue right here in the middle. There's a choice in partnership, duality, this one or that one. Or if this person wants to come towards you, they got some obstacles and some things that they need to work through in their own personal life. Something or someone is getting in their way. I want to play around with these three cards. Two, seven, two. Look it up. Could be an emperor. Could be someone's divine masculine. This could be you if you're the divine masculine. A twin flame. Someone who has gifts of a high priest. A masculine energy that is very intuitive, spiritually high rank. Could be a soulmate or a twin flame. Two of cups is soulmate. It's union. It's a blissful connection. It's monogamy. But the two could be symbolic as a choice. What's behind the emperor? Three of pentacles. A collaboration, a soul contract being fulfilled, but there's a delay. Or what's behind that? Someone working on self or needing to practice more self-care. Or be single and available. Let me clarify. In fact, I'm going to clarify them three times with three different decks. I got the queen of cups and the high priestess. Truly psychic clairvoyant tap the fuck in more twos the high priestess embodies a choice in duality as well with the black and the white the yin and the yang i actually just posted a video on patreon about the high priestess i am teaching tarot so someone could be stuck in between realms the delay with the chariot let's see in between realms you are another Queen of Swords. This is about boundaries, intelligence, right from wrong, aloof, guarded, lack of empathy, depending on the situation. What is the Two of Pentacles in this situation here? Angel, spirit guides, ancestors. That is a challenge. It fell out sideways. The Knight of Pentacles. There is a delay in action. Someone is trying to come towards you and someone is doing something. It could be spell work, but I'm going to wait. Now, this could be caution, needing to be sure and certain. This could be simply a delay in their own life, financially, obstacles. A pentacle fell over a pentacle. Could be finances or a problem. All right. Uh-huh. It could be car trouble. The chariot is mobility. The horse is mobility. Ancient times and, you know, old school, Western travel. But uh, this could be school, debt, 
graduating, finishing off alone. Someone could be career focused. They put off partnership. They're focusing more on, I did see the nine of pentacles. They're focusing more on their own life. But they could be pushing away romance. The romance could be right there. Okay, I'll come back to that. What's the chariot for the collector? The four of wands, which is coming out weird. I'll leave it like that. This king of wands could be this emperor. And on this channel, this is a fire sign, of course. It's a flame, though. Fire is flame, which is a twin flame. This could be someone's divine master. This divine master can be you. Listen, this is about a soulmate or a twin flame. The proof is in the pudding. And a spiritual connection. I said this emperor was high rank. This emperor is this hierophant. Because the empress would be that high priestess. Because you got, I'm about to teach today. The high priestess is two. The empress is three. The her, the emperor is four and the hierophant is five. Both of them have the ability to tap in and out of those energies because that is them. They are all embodying divine counterpart energy. This two of cups is divine counterpart energy. This king of pentacles is working on his finances or he's married or he's practicing self-care. One of many of what I just said. But okay, king of wands, you're right here. You're this emperor. This king of wands is this emperor. Could be a twin flame more than ever with this four of wands, 11, 11. But they could be married in a connection, providing for, being responsible for that family. Or even if they have children or not, they just holding the weight. They bring it home to bacon. Okay. That marriage or commitment or and or commitment could be a little rocky how this connection how this card came out. The connection could be faulty. Could be because they met you. Now it could be a twin flame connection in someone, perhaps a warlock, is casting spells and managing your connection, causing a delay. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility as well. This is also someone wanting commitment with you, but they are slow to commit because something has transpired in their life. My OCD kicking in. I said I was going to leave it. I can't. What's the two of cups? Also sideways is the ch Ooh, I, got, I got chills because listen, listen here the chariot came out the same motherfucking way you see this Ooh, tap the fuck in the chariot spirit say the chariot is the chariot and it's coming out the same way but wait a minute my high priest is kicking in. The chariot is facing the left, which could have been some delays in the past. And now the chariot is facing the right, which means there are still them same delays moving forward. So it could be spell work. It could be finance. It could be car trouble. Y'all could stay at a distance. Or they're having trouble making a decision with the black and the white, the duality, the light and the dark, this or that. Mm, with the two. Ooh. They could be giving you the cold shoulder or this is you. They could be analyzing, watching, observing, slow to commit, being cautious. They got to be sure. Let's get another deck. Okay, what's the emperor at the bottom of the deck? Sideways. The two of what? <laughs> another two. Choices. Duality. Which way? Came out sideways. Okay, so listen here. I got two of wands, two of cups, two of pentacles, and I got this king of cups. Seen the king of wands, seen the king of pentacles, seen this king of swords right behind him, and this king of cups. This is the masculine. Period. I saw the queen of swords and the queen of cups. Could be a choice between a soulmate versus a wife or somebody they're dealing with. This could be you. Listen, this could be you. Could be a choice between a soulmate. And y'all may be at a power struggle giving each other the cold shoulder. Ain't nobody budging. Lack of communication. Everybody want to be aloof. That could be a scenario. Or it could be your ex or they ex. Cast a spell work on two people who are compassionately in love with one another. Mm-hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Spirit, don't go that Knight of Pentacles. Your girl is spooky. Tap the fuck in. Do you 
see it. I know you see it. Okay, let's see what I crack the deck on next. Your girl is spooky. Tap the fuck in. Is that the same cherry? Is that the same? I think it is. But 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 let's finish the reading. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm having fun. Okay. Let me see. Let me, let me crack the deck open again. What's the intel? That king of wands, like I thought. <laughs> okay. Don't play with your girl. Motherfuckers be mad. Okay. Let's see. What is the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles for the collective spirit team? The Five of Swords look like envy, look like some hostilities, look like somebody cast a spell work, look like somebody stuck in a head that can't make a decision, look like it's some hostilities in a home, either of all of the above. Came out sideways though. So that's about to alleviate. What is, what's this right here in the deck? The high priestess. Where you come from? Because that's me. Let me put you right there. Okay. What's the chariot and the four of wands? Some of y'all could have been this person's mistress. Some of you men got some secrets. Somebody pregnant. Could be. Yes. The four of wands is yang. Divine masculine shining in this reading. This is Yang, Leo energy. Okay. Now listen. This gonna work out. The truth will be revealed. Whatever delays will be worked through. Someone's remaining optimistic. This is given chosen. This is given joy, happiness, contentment, vitality, also pregnancy. Renewal? A renewal. For this four of wands connection. And they're going to have two again. The two of wands. Somebody going to make a decision. Plans and preparation. Okay. What is the two of cups. And the cherry. Sideways. The queen of cups. Now, now, now. Queen of cups. There's the lovers. This is definitely a soulmate or a twin flame reading. I didn't pick the cards. They jumped out and they repeated themselves. So that's that. Gemini energy with the lovers. And it's probably this queen of swords. The queen of cups is sideways and the queen of swords is right here at the bottom of the deck. And they're that four of wands again. Listen. What's underneath that? Five of cups. Could be some disappointments. Bad choice. Feeling remorseful because the five of swords in reverse is forgiveness. This queen of cups. I don't know about you. This could be someone who's not following their intuition, quite gullible, okay? Could be emotionally unstable, mm -hmm. could be creating some delays, could be having a hard time following her intuition, or a masculine is having troubles seeing you for who you are. You could be a psychic, that could be troublesome for them. You could be gullible, they're not sure of that. They may feel like you emotionally manipulate them, or this is you. This could also be a psychic using her gifts for bane, for intent. Who is this Queen of Cups? I need further confirmation. Uh, I don't like how that slipped out. King of Swords in reverse. Abusive. Abusive partner. Hostile. Let me get a clarification for certain. Who is this Queen of Cups? Okay. He could have broke up with her. She want him back. Queen of Cups. Death card, somebody, it could be a Scorpio. Ugh. Something could be over with, with this person. She not letting it go. Or somebody need to let go of before they come towards you. Or somebody trying to bring an ending to your shit with their gifts. Queen of Cups, please, once more. The Knight of Cups, a psychic, for sure, for certain. This person could be sending you telepathy. Someone's in the way with their conflict. Could be conflict magic. This queen of cups is using her gifts for bane. Let me see. Is there any spiritual warfare card for this queen of cups? You're on the right path. Okay. Let me see. Karmic lover. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Block. 
I could just instill me. <laughs> I am gifted. Let me watch my ego. Listen, this queen of cups... It's a karmic lover, a karmic demon, causing blockages and stalemates. It could be a masculine and bitch-made energy. Mm -hmm. This queen of cups is a psychic, creating conflict. It's a third party because somebody else in the mix trying to get in, way, get in the way of this king of cups. Period. Like I said, that's that. It could be a bitch-made man doing spell work. The warlock I picked up on, that hostile king of swords in reverse, someone's ex who won't let go, scorn, scorn lover. Or it could be a bitch made ex-wife, current wife or baby mama who doing spell work. Bitch made because they doing spell work. I see it, I feel it. Could be a Scorpio. Could have Scorpio in their chart or they just full of destruction. What's this emperor in the two of wands? The four of wands. Somebody twin flame. Okay, spirit, that's in a commitment or one one with you. Or this could lead to marriage because the two of wands talks about future planning, the, the path ahead, a choice between the two. Look like this is a blissful card, a commitment and a marriage. Things are delayed. Let's see, Pisces energy. Let me run this back. I got Aries. I got Cancer. I got Scorpio. I got a lot of Cancer with the two of cups. I got uh, uh, Aquarius and I got Cap. Aries, a lot of Aries, a lot of Aries, okay, a lot of fire, all right, With these wands, another wand, three wands, what's the outcome of this, eight of cups, yeah, reverse, outcome of this, Eight and eight. Let me try my look. Outcome of this. The star and the ace of cups. Yes. Okay. So if someone abandoned ship, walked away from you, ghosted you, shook the scene, they'll be back. This is a spiritual connection. Gang, Taurus energy with the Hierophant. This, uh, the divine is watching this closely with the high priestess and the Hierophant. Someone is deeply spiritually high ranked, unfuckwittable. I wish these people will stop. What's the Eight of Cups? This is a divine union for divine beings in earthly bodies. You can't see, you can't see who they are in the spiritual, but you definitely will fuck around and find the fuck out. Eight of Cups in reverse. The four of cups, whoever this is that uh ghosted you, rejected you, somebody also gonna realize that they're not they're they're, they're not wanted, okay? They're someone's disinterested and they're done. But whoever ghosted you, rejected you, they're also contemplating a return. The eight of cups in reverse is basically a U-turn. Because if you walk away and you come back, where my damn book at? I ain't seen it all the way over there. If you walk away, you come back, it speaks of withdrawal. It speaks of um, someone finding it difficult to leave something behind. But then Four of Cups is contemplation, thinking about it. Pisces and Cancer energy could be intuitively guided to make a different decision. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Queen of Swords, sideways. They're seeing this person could be an Aquarius for who they truly are. Could be, don't have to be. The star card is here. Okay. They thought you was because four of cups could be seeing things from a new perspective too. Depending on how I read it. They sitting there contemplating. They could have thought that you were this or that, bitter and cold or whatever. They're seeing that in a new light. Or oh, this is you. Ace of Swords with the lovers. There's going to be a breakthrough in this union. What's the Eight of Wands? The page of swords. Someone's gathering, gaining, finding a new way to communicate with you. Someone's also sending you evil eye and negative energy. But I asked for the outcome. I'm not going to read it like that. Well, never mind. I go to the devil. 
Whoever sent an evil eye negative energy causes this person to ghost you. This could be past. This could be present. I said, what's the outcome? After all of this is alleviated, star card that would be healing and a renewal on steroids with the star and the ace of cups. But listen, let's see. What's this page of swords? Someone could be watching you, figuring out a way how to come towards you, how to pick up the momentum, how to get this going. They could have a lot of passion for you. Perhaps they want to move fast. Someone's seeing you as a, uh, 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 what you call it? A get rich quick ticket. What's the uh, eight of wands? Page of swords. This king of cups. Sideways. There could be a masculine here that's full of shit. But the queen of cups came out sideways too. So it could be you two blocked from each other. Due to somebody watching. The growth of this connection. Both of y'all could be in y'all feelings because y'all mirroring each other yes she facing that way he facing that way both sideways y'all are mirroring each other both of y'all have hostilities and people watching y'all from different angles what's the star card or it could be two people who definitely don't get along in the same household what's the star card the knight of wands sideways over this king of i mean this queen of cups that's giving almost impulsive, but almost brave. Eager, but delayed. Lust. A lot of lust and a lot of passion. Is that what's being healed? What's the star card? The two of swords. Stalemates. Obstacles. Delays. Back and forth energy. In and out. The stalemate right here. Blockages of stalemates is being healed. It's being worked through with it coming out sideways. Everything is in limbo. The chariot sideways. The king and queen of cups sideways. There's two of swords sideways. Somebody's watching something change and evolve and shift. The knight of pentacles was sideways. There is blockages in stalemates. Three of Wands for what's supposed to grow and evolve. Why is this Two of Swords here? Because there's illusions behind the scenes. Seven of Cups. Why is this Two of Swords here? Sideways. The Lovers. Who is this lover? Never mind. I'll answer my own question. A Karmic Lover. Interesting. Can I get a clarification just because? Sideways. Seven of Wands. Somebody need to defend their union. Stand your ground. Mm, 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 mm. Someone has obstacles to work through as well. In divine time, and there will be a peaceful resolution and things will be brought into alignment. Shit is going to come crumbling the fuck down. A lot of devastation, transformation, drastic changes with the with the tower on whoever won't let go. Somebody blocking this offer. What's the seven of wands? Ace of swords, I said it. Okay. What's the ace of cups? Ten of cups, emotional fulfillment, ace of wands, a new beginning. Because somebody going to have to, there's that emperor. Somebody going to have to walk away. Yes. What's the ace of cups? So if I said that somebody needs to stand their ground, there's obstacles and delays. Somebody trying to cause a stalemate. Spirit gave me the Ace of Swords. There will be a breakthrough. What's this Ace of Cups? Queen of Pentacles. That's self-care. Reap what you sow. Loving on self. That King of Pentacles showed up. This could lead to marriage. This is fertility. This is a pregnancy, especially with the Seven of Pentacles. A baby could bring someone together. Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Loving yourself is loving your twin. That's my thing right there. Some of you need to love on yourself so you can attract that inwardly and back at you. If this is a twin flame connection, or a high-level soulmate, because karmic came out. That's the way the story go.
Twin flame, four of wands. Four of wands twice. Two of cups twice. Emperor showed up. Didn't see the Empress. Empress got to check in. Okay, because this emperor was the highlight of the read. The emperor is giving, the emperor, the emperor is sending out a distress signal. He coming out in my reading. Someone's emperor is under spell work. Or is wanting someone to know that they have obstacles in their life. But this came out. Blockage is a spell work. Blockage is a stalemate. Can be spell work or it could be financial stuff or a karmic lover. Someone needs to work on loving themselves more, male or female. We got self-care, pampering, nurturing, cool, calm, collected, home, body, all this earthy, grounded energy. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Some of you feminine energies need to work on your stability and stop tripping off karmics. No offense, just facts. If they ain't adding, they subtracting. For you men, listen. If she ain't loving on you, sucking and fucking on you, she gotta go. And if she doing it with ill intent, you need to read the room. How do you feel about this woman? 